Alright. Sorry about this guys and girls. I'm just, just trying to flip in and set this up so you can get the best possible settings in it. <laughs> Need to lift this up slowly. And I'm working. And I'm. Right, sorry about that guys and girls. Hopefully we've got this corrected now. Maybe not. So we're just recording on the grass at the moment in 25 frames 60 um, megabits. And as you can see, uh, it's only like a quarter of the moon tonight. So it's not really that much. I should see if I can put the light up a little bit. I don't want it so it's turned too sort of dark and I'll put it at 2500 there we go wow look at that this is with my new telescope the uh, the little baby one sorry about the jumping though because I'm just trying to go up here so you can have it again And on. See if I can move this slowly so I don't have to move it as much. And on. Alright. There we go. Let that settle in a minute. It's actually going quite fast, actually, being this close. I think this is uh, 1250. Uh, and this is times two on it. I've got the two times thin on it, so you can get close, even closer. And I'm right, there we go. It is the 10th of April 2019 at the time of this video, and as you can actually see, the quality actually is not that bad. Uh, when I get focused in Oh that looks brilliant at this You can actually see all the tiny little craters on it once it's focused in really well This is the Orion 90mm um, And I'll see if I can get that back in focus Because I have to try and change every few seconds I need to try and actually uh, see if I can and I'm uh, there we go it's gonna s slowly catch up I think so if I just leave it there for a minute here we go actually uh, can we just move it slowly on the pedestal? Got a little pedestal that goes with it. There we go. I should get one of those little rotors on it, the, the little motors. So apparently it can actually follow it. I think that's what the sort of thing is, where it just follows the, the moon around all the stars and all that. That is pretty cool. You put like sort of a digit number in it and then it follows it. 
it's roughly about 11 o'clock at the moment uh, UK time and it's only a quarter of a moon tonight so it's not fully and all that I've actually put the brightness up a little bit on there as well to just to get the colours in there there we go nice and steady as you can see it's slightly turning as it's moving that's pretty cool oh wow whoa look at all those little tiny critters up close it does actually go out a little bit of focus it's probably because i've got it on single shot actually i wonder if i can Um, let's have a look. And on. And on. Sorry about this, guys and girls. I'm just trying to focus this in as much as I can without it basically shafting me as you can see there's little tiny little craters there oh wow that looks quite cool actually I mean, those darker uh, patches, you could probably put the, the ISO up a little teeny tiny bit. I've uh, got it at 2000 at the moment, so it's actually not... Well, that's pretty damn good. <sighs> and All right, here we go. It's going quite fast, actually. I don't know how many RPM the Earth actually does when it's rotating. That's probably thousands and thousands, probably. I have no idea, but. I don't know. There you go. Oh wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, but I do apologise for the uh, shaking, guys and girls. Um, yeah, so I need to... I mean, I'm not I'm on the grass at the moment, so it makes it less sturdy. But that's pretty cool. Right, so let's lift up a little tiny bit. And on. Ah, that looks actually sweet. That's actually pretty much in the sweet spot. It's just like basically rotating the moon. So I suppose this is where they make all the cheese and Well they say that uh, the moon's made of cheese but I guess not. That's pretty cool. Well, I was gonna do it to ten minutes and I'm gonna finish off here guys and girls. But yeah, hopefully let us some know some feedback of what uh you think of it and I'm oh. so if I can uh. 
Ash is coming up now. So if I just steady it, just like that, then it gets all the the nice. Let's have a look. Let's, let's have a look on this side of the moon. See how well perfect it is. Oh wow. That's actually nice and clear, but you can actually see there's sort of like it looks like a, a mirage sort of thing it gives a cl like glazed over the top of it or like sort of i don't know it's like ripples you can actually see a slight like slight ripples unless that's the earth's atmosphere and all that which gives it the sort of the nice thing of the moon and all that that's pretty awesome uh, um, and the earth's moon Gravitates, I suppose, with the Earth and all that, the Moon, the Earth, and all that kind of stuff. With the stars and all that, that's absolutely probably with the stars here. Maybe not. Can't even see any stars tonight except for the Moon and all that kicking in. But yeah, let us know in the comments below, guys and girls, on what you think. Is April the 10th, um, yeah, 10th of April, coming up to 11th, 2019 at the time of this. It was, I mean, the moon's starting to kick in, so. Um, but as you can see, some really good 4K footage. Um, you can see the ripples on Mars. It's a shame you can't get as close like that with uh, Mars and all that. But yeah, anyway, guys and girls, cheers for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.